Hey everyone, welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. Today we are gonna to talk to you about how to negotiate with builders or more importantly, what you can negotiate on and maybe what you can't. Yeah, what you'll be more successful in mm -hmm. getting. Yes. So we are licensed real estate agents here in the state of Colorado. We would love to help you with any of your real estate needs. Yes. And as we always say, always bring a realtor like us to look at new builds or for your purchasing a new build. It's really important. You walk in the sales office and that salesperson works for the builder. Yes. They do not work for you. Right. So you're always going to get a better deal, you know, if you bring one of us, yeah, we'll advocate for you. Mm -hmm. And we know all the different builders, yep, what they have going on, mm -hmm. different deals, different incentives, yes. all kinds of goodies. Yes, and a lot of this is how to negotiate and what you can get out of builders. Yeah, the and only real answer is it depends. It depends. It's very it, situationally based. It depends on the builder. Mm -hmm. It's about timing. Yep. Not only like the time of the year mm -hmm. that you're looking to purchase. Yep. But the timing of the the builder, community. yes. In general. Yes, so point number one is timing. If you go to a community where the builder has just started, you know, mm -hmm. they've just broken ground, they're yep. building a new collection, right. or a new, you know, they're just starting out. Right. Typically the prices, that's when they're gonna be the lowest. Yes. So if you're able to find a brand new community that just started, that's when their prices are gonna be the lowest. Yep. And then once they get a few people under contract, they will start rising. The prices go up. God, they almost go up every month. Yeah. They so. steadily increase very yeah. quickly. Yes. Literally mm -hmm. every single month, they go yep. up five or ten thousand yep. dollars. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. When a new community is starting, get in there, get, get in, in there, there quick. first. Uh-huh. Because you will get the best deal. And they also will typically throw in more extras. Yes. I've even seen, you know, sometimes they will finish your basement yeah. for a way cheaper price mm -hmm. or it included in the base price. Yes. Because they want to show it off yep. to, you know, other prospective home buyers. Yep. We were just at a builder and current their super beginning stages a few months ago, they were throwing in uh, window coverings for the entire home. So yep. that was really cool. Appliances like refrigerators, washers mm -hmm. and dryers. Yeah. So one thing to know, there's so many things that don't come with a new build home. Mm -hmm. uh, typically like refrigerators, yeah. washers and dryers. Yep. Sometimes AC. Yeah. Garage doors, openers. Garage door, mm -hmm. yeah, lifts. Definitely backyard landscaping. Yes. And fencing sometimes mm -hmm. um, are mm -hmm. things that you have to pay for right. after closing. Right. They, they hardly ever will put in any kind of backyard patio. Right. So when you walk out your back door, because they don't do landscaping, mm -hmm. it's a mud pit. It's just, just mud, mud everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so you would like have to do something. Yes. Especially if you have dogs or kids, like yeah. almost immediately. Yeah. If you want to use your yard. Yep. So all these things can be negotiated. Mm hmm. And the thing is, you're way more likely to negotiate add-ons mm -hmm. or um, these incentive things than you are to negotiate a drastic difference in builder pricing. Yes. Builder pricing is kind of set. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is buyers will still have to get appraisals on yeah. these homes. Right. So the minute they sell a home for 20, 30 grand under the pricing, right. then it lowers the value for all the, the whole homes. community. Yeah, the homes that they sell in the future. Right. And makes it harder for them to get that price. Right. So they will almost never drastically reduce their prices mm -hmm. for that reason. Right. I have negotiated, you know, within a few thousand dollars yeah. for a lower price. Right. But you're better off to negotiate things like you know, throwing in a refrigerator. The add-ons. That's, that's $2,000 right there. Right. Washers and dryers, that's $4,000. Right. Upgrades in finishes. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. you go to the design, some builders will give you like a design center credit mm -hmm. where you go to the design center and they'll give you fifteen, twenty thousand yeah. dollars in a credit. Fancy kitchen so, backsplash. Yeah. yeah. So you can add, you know, the, the nicer flooring or the yes. stone countertop. Right. Things like that. Right. Is where you're going to have more success mm -hmm. in negotiating. With Definitely. Builders. Definitely. 
And then on the flip side of that, we mentioned, you know, really early in the building process, they're just breaking ground is obviously going to be that time where you can kind of negotiate those add-ons, but also at the very end of the community yes. kind of closing out and quotas, like they have like three homes left that yes, they need to get rid of. Then you can kind of come in and you'll have, you know, you can get maybe a little bit more bang for your yeah. buck essentially yeah. and have more negotiating power. But that That's middle true. time frame, it's going to be harder. Yeah. Like Lauren said, when they're closing out a community and they want to, you know, just get everything sold, they want to move on to their next project. Right. They're going to be more willing to negotiate prices down yeah. and things to get those homes sold. Yes. So again, timing. Timing is really timing everything. Timing is everything. Mm-hmm. And timing, it also goes for not like how the age of the community, but it also goes for the time of year. Seasons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we've heard builders work on quarterly and they right. need to make certain numbers per quarter. Right. So if you go towards the end of a quarter, you have a higher chance of them, you know, being a little more willing to give things. Mm -hmm. And I know definitely by the end of the year, if you go in November and December Mm -hmm. is when I have seen the best deals and free add-ons. Yes. That builders are like almost giving homes away in December. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Even December's your time that's frame. when you see like some drastic price mm-hmm. drops, even yeah. things like that, because they are trying to get inventory off oh, their yeah. books mm-hmm. for the year, for the next coming year. So you will get a way better deal if you go towards the end of the year. Yes. And I feel like that segues great into our next point, And that's asking about earnest money. Yes. So one thing to note, when you sign a builder contract, you always want to ask always. and pay attention to see if the earnest money is refundable right so earnest money is when you pay up front it's typically like five ten thousand dollars you pay up front as like a placeholder yeah and it goes towards your closing costs right or your down payment or whatever in the end it's not like an extra fee right but it can be non-refundable especially if you start from a dirt start Mm -hmm. they call it on a new build which means you pick your lot and you're gonna pick like your finishes and everything that can be nine months from the day you sign that contract until you get to move into your house Mm -hmm. it's like nine months months to a year. Right. So if you give that $5,000 when you sign the mm-hmm. contract and then if anything happens during that nine months, which mm-hmm. can be a long time, yeah. you cannot always get that earnest money back. Right. You will lose five. If you change your mind, Yep. if you lose you your job, job, if you change jobs, mm-hmm. even like if you get a job out of state, right. uh, they don't care. Or if interest rates money. do a giant That's increase true. and you can no longer afford the payment. Right. Like these are all changes where you may have to forego your earnest money and walk Mm -hmm. away from it. So it's always good to make sure you know, make sure you know if it's refundable, what dates it's non-refundable by. Yes. And if you can get that earnest money back. Yeah. All builders are a little different on it. And you know, again, it's negotiable sometimes. Right. And not others. Sometimes it's not. Always know that because it can be five or $10,000 that you lose. Yeah. So one more thing we're going to talk about, it is always a pretty good idea to get a home inspection done yep. on a new build. Yep. Now, builders will say, you can do a home inspection, but mm-hmm. we're not going to fix it. We're anything. not going to fix anything. Which is fine, but there's big things like, and they probably won't fix, you know, like again, if something doesn't work, it's always good to know about that before you close on the home. Yeah. You know, if it's something little, they might not fix it. But if it's something, and we've seen Giant. this a lot, like the sewer line mm-hmm. not being connected properly, obviously they're gonna fix that yes. before you move in. Yes. And yes. that's probably the biggest thing. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't get a full on inspection, yeah. get at least a sewer line scope because I've seen it time and time again and with other colleagues that the sewer, they don't connect those correctly right. or they're not connected at all. Right. And then what will happen is you don't find that out until after you've been living in the house right. for like a month or two right. and there's, you know, things are backing up. Mm-hmm. And then unfortunately, in order to get that fixed, you got to dig up all that landscaping yep. sometimes that yep. you paid for. Mm-hmm. And then you not only have to, you know, figure out the sewer line fix, it, and some of that might be under the builder's warranty, mm-hmm. but the landscaping's not. No. Nope. So then you got to pay to have it all fit. of that yep. torn up and then put right back in. Yes. So always recommend getting a um, home inspection, home inspection yep. or a very, you know, at least a sewer line scope. Yeah. If there's any big ticket items that need to be mm-hmm. taken care of and hopefully by the builder before you close, 
Yeah. It's good to get it checked out before you move in. Yes. You know, and that just gives you more negotiating power, obviously. Absolutely. It's much easier to negotiate fixes with builders mm -hmm. before you close yes, than, than after. after you close. Yes. So just remember that. Mm -hmm. Very good key takeaway. Mm -hmm. Again, bring us with you. We're pros at this. Mm -hmm. We've done it before. We know a lot of the home builders. We know their sales associates. Yep. We know what builders will go for and what they won't. Yep. So we would be happy to help you score the best deal. Definitely. Call us, text us, email us. You'll always get one of us and hit that subscribe button. We put out two new videos every single week. Yes. And we will see you on the next one. Yeah.